this is Kesh. I'm coming to you today with my everyday makeup look. Um, it's quick and easy. Um, not a lot of highlighting, contouring, and all of that. It looks natural. And um, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. Okay, so I'm starting out by priming my face and the primer that I'm using is um, the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer and I'm also ensuring that I get my lids because my lids are really greasy and sometimes I do not really wear eyeshadow so I always make sure that I um, prime my lids with that Stay Matte um, Primer. Next I'm taking my blending brush and my City Color Contour Effects and I'm going to use that bronze shade and that will be my transition color. So I'm going to blend that um, into my crease and right above my crease. Next I'm taking the contour color and I'm going to blend that into my crease and also on the outer V of my eyes. Just to give the look some depth, you know I'm using a darker color. Next I am using a pencil brush and the dark, a dark brown from MAC, I will have the name of that color for you below and I'm just deepening the outer V. Sometimes I don't do this but today I wanted to do this just to give it a little bit more dramatic effect but nothing too over the top because as I said before it's for work and if you work in an environment where you're not really allowed to wear makeup I am but I choose not to then this particular um, look would go would be perfect for you so I'm just using that brush by the way that brush is from BH cosmetics and and it is very dense I love how dense it is I think it will be perfect for a nice cut crease next I'm taking my MAC mineralized skin finish and that is in dark and I'm just placing that all over my mobile lid that will be my lid color sometimes I go back for the bronze color in the contour palette and just pat that all over my lid instead of actually using this um, MAC mineralized skin finish but MAC mineralized skin finish has a bit of reflexes in it so it kind of gives it a little bit of shine and the appearance of a subtle shadow so now I'm just using my blending brush just blend 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 everything that's the key to um, any eyeshadow if you want your eyeshadow to look good just blend away next I'm going for that highlight color in the contour effects um, palette and I'm placing that um, right under my brows as my brow bone highlight it also has a bit of shimmer to it because as I said before it's a highlighting color so I'm just blending that out it's really pretty on the skin and it is also nice um, to highlight the cheekbones and the nose if you want something light and subtle now I am reaching for my L'Oreal True Match in N8 and that will be the foundation that I'm going to use and that is my BH Cosmetics flat top um, brush from the kabuki set that I got as a Christmas gift and since I'm not able to locate my what's it called again elf the elf powder brush I've been using this and it has been working just fine for me but I think I, I want to get back one more of those elf brushes because the elf brushes are just 
perfect the elf powder brush it gives me a flawless finish but this is just as good and I'm really enjoying this brush really soft but dense enough to blend the foundation into your skin easily and it doesn't suck away the product like some of the other brushes that I have tried so I'm just blending 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 because as I said before just like with the eyeshadow the key to get your foundation looking good is to blend 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 into the airline the hairline blend onto the ears blend onto the neck blend everything together so it looks seamless and by the way just stay tuned um, for my review on this foundation it will be up soon so um, just stay tuned for that yes I know I blend a lot but yes I do blend just to ensure everything is properly blended so that's what the foundation looks like a light natural finish not too much now I'm taking that sample jar of Benai Topaz powder and I'm using that to set my under um, eye area it will give me the effect of um, highlight but just without using any cream or product highlighting um, agent so now I'm using my black opal powder in dark it's a loose powder and I've been really reaching for this in recent times I even use it over my higher end foundations and it has been my everyday um, powder for a couple weeks now so I'm just powdering my entire face now I'm using my elf um, glow powder I think it's a bronzer and that is in sun kiss yes and it is one of the dollar ones it's one of the very cheap one cheap ones I think I got this at chain reaction for like a hundred dollars but oh my god I don't even know why I, I have not been been using this it is so beautiful on any skin tone and it's very light too. so if you don't want too much glow it's perfect so now I'm going back in the contour kit and I'm going in with that dome shape brush and that large dome shape brush from the kabuki set and I am just contouring my cheeks a little yes my face is round so I like to contour my cheeks even though I'm not going for too much of a contour or highlight and I'm just blending everything because I like to blend it to ensure everything looks seamless I'm actually using the blush at the top not the one down there because I wanted something light so now I am going in um, with my fan brush which is from BH Cosmetics and I'm adding some of that El Sun Kiss glow powder to my cheeks just to brighten my face and for some reason I've been lining my lips with plum liner it doesn't matter which lipstick I'm going for sometimes I'm not sure what I want on my lips yet so I line it with a plum liner because it will go well with reds pinks even nudes so I am now using my favorite mascara which you should know by now which is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and I'm coating my lashes twice both top and bottom and if you notice I did not line my bottom lash or my waterline at the bottom but if you want to you can go ahead and do that but the truth is this is what I do every single day and usually I don't line my waterline every day and that is a marvelous shine by Maybelline color sensational lipstick and you probably have seen this in my bridal video if you have not check it out so this is the finished product thank you for watching